Hi everyone, welcome back to one of my uh, fun and excited coins video. It's been a while since I haven't done any of these coin videos, so uh, I have so many coins. I just want to start to show you guys some of the coins that I um, really have. So for those of you who are really interested in coin, or for those of you who are already involved in coin collecting or whatever you do in the hobby whatever you do in your hobby here i am you know here to show you some of my coins so here i have i have four coins here i have the 1943 steel penny 1944 D wheat penny nineteen forty five wheat penny and nineteen forty six wheat penny and yes this as well nineteen forty three steel wheat penny so I don't know much about these so if any of you out there uh that know anything much about this kind you can also share in the comment. I welcome all good all the comment that you have so the little I little information I have about these some of these coins are that um, within 1943 was the war so that uh, within that time America was short of copper because they were using the copper to make the bullets for the war so they stopped making the um, these coins in 1943 out of copper and made them out of steel so but they resumed making them um in 1990 1944. so the little i know about this steel copper Due to a shortage during the critical war here in 1943, the church used zinc coated steel to make scent. Though, although no brand scent were official issues that year, a few specimens struck in arrow and brand or silver plantage are known to exist. Brand's example have sold for over 200,000 in recent years. So a similar error, a few 1944 cents were struck and steel plantage. Beware the many regular steel cents of 1943 that were later plated with copper, either are novel novelties or to deceive. The magnet will reveal their true nature. For more on this, 1943 brand. So, basically, what they are saying the 1943, you have to be careful out there because people are counterfeiting them and selling them for the real thing, which is not. So, there we go for the 1943. So with the 1944, sorry guys, I, I know I'm not supposed to be even touching the coins with my hand because as uh, they say, the sweat of your hand, can, the oil from your hand contains a certain amount of oil with salt and if you touch the coin, it will leave that spot and devalue the, the, um, the, the value of this guy. Which I know these are not really so much valuable coin, but at the same time, you never know time change, things change, and these coin that doesn't value much this day, they could value a, a lot, ten or twenty years from now, no one knows. So, the little I know with the nineteen, nineteen forty four, they said um, the Denver Mint struck. 430 million 578,000 unit with the mint mark D at the San Francisco uh, mint and 282 
million seven hundred and sixty um nineteen forty four penny were made and these came without the, with S minted mark, which worked nothing that the 1944 wheat penny were one of the most minted coins in the US history. So they're saying the 1944 coin was one of the most minted coin in the history of the United States, but yet it doesn't value much. But they say the price can range from a dollar fifty up to five to six dollar, depending on the condition. Uh, they give you a little rundown. They say the weight is three point one one gram. Uh, diameter is nineteen millimeter. They say the edges are plain, and um, it's ninety five point ninety five percent copper and 0 .0 0 0.50 zinc so that's what the um, 1944 um, contained and the 1945 penny no minted no mint mark made in Philadelphia and the amount that was made is one billion forty forty million five hundred and fifteen thousand minted. Adverse our head sides were designed by Victor Victor David Banner as was the original reverse depicting two stalks of wheat so this is the other side that they are saying depicting the two stalk of wheat here is the two wheat two stalk of wheat one on this side and one on that side and that's what it is with all the other two here they go depicting mark on both sides and as you can see it says one cents so that's how it goes for that number uh, number three which is the 1944 and here the 1946 they say nine hundred 656,000 656 million uh, were minted. No mint mark made in Philadelphia. So those are those, they don't have no D or anything and then they don't have no S, no D, no mint mark. So that go with that. They also say the composition are composition are copper, which is five percent, which is ninety five percent metal, and five percent copper and zinc weight, forty eight gram. Uh, price ranging from fifteen cent to up to four dollar, depending again on the condition, and. Um, you know as you can see these are not graded coins and for sure if this one were graded i know it wouldn't come out bad because it have this color um, i don't not sure and see the condition of this 1946 so you know anyone out there who have a little more information about this coin feel free to comment below uh, i'm gonna try to do better in the next video because I had that this, as I say, I have many more coins to come out. So uh, again, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy watching my video, seeing these coins. I know a lot of you guys don't know that these coins are evil existed. But if you can go ahead and check your plastic change every day, you're surprised to find 
the coins that um, are in pass through your pocket every day. You never know, you could be lucky to uh, pick out a, um, a really valuable coin because there's a lot of valuable coins out there. And if you don't know, you don't know. But the people who know them and know the valuable ones are hunting them. I'm trying to get into it. I started years ago, but I stopped. But I think it's time to start to um, start to um, look on coins again. Uh, before I go, I want to show you guys two of my other coins that I have. And there's a rumor going around that these coins are <coughs> very expensive. I'm not sure. I don't know the one. And it is the British British New Penny. Yeah, I have I have a few of them well, but I'm just showing two of them. Look. New penny. There you go. 1971. So anyone know anything about this coin? Feel free to comment below. I have many more. Yeah. But that's for next video. I have several more. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you and have a blessed day.